Uh, good day there chess lovers, Sorin here and in today's video we will take a quick look at a game which is going to have a mind-blowing finish. Uh, this game was played between two Soviet chess players, Yevgeny Vladimirov is on the white side and his opponent is Vladislav Varadnikov. Uh, Vladimirov would earn Grandmaster title in 1989 and Varadnikov in 2005. Meanwhile, this is year 1974, we are in Leningrad and Vladimirov opened up with d4. Uh, Varadnikov's answer was d5, c4, we have queen's gambit, d takes c4, queen's gambit accepted, knight f3, a6, this is Alekhin defense, e3, bishop g4, h3, bishop h5 and g4. White is playing very aggressively and at the cost of so what weakening his king side is getting rid of that pin. Meanwhile, white is winning back the sacrificed pawn and is fianchettoing the king side bishop. That goes back on d2, bishop b4. Nothing special at the moment. We have an equal battle, king f1. A little bit strange, of course. Uh, not that clear. Why not castling king side? Maybe this was a mouse slip, who knows? Uh, after king f1, an exchange on d2 followed, knight gf6, knight g5, and then, yeah, we have an exchange on g2, knight f8, queen b3, knight g6. Well, the queen takes b7 won't give you much, black will then castle king side at some point, maybe rook b8, rook b2 can follow. Uh, that's why after knight g6 white played bishop b4, took under control this diagonal, stopping black from castling, but since black wants to announce a check from h4, better was playing h4, and there is no knight takes g4 move because of this knight takes e6. But after knight g6, white played bishop b4, and now let's see what's the problem with it. There came that knight h4 check, and now if you move back your king on f1, then black will just play queen d7, neutralize any possible knight e6 threats, and then h6 is coming, and looks like that there are no good squares for this knight. That's why in our game after knight h4 we have king g3. Although once again let me tell you that king f1 is of course better than king g3, so white decided to play actively, attacked this knight on h4, and since we reached the critical position I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try to find the winning line for black. Ready? Here Varadnikov played knight h5 check. Did you manage to find this move? White played king takes h4. Well, if g takes h5, then this is simple, right? Queen takes g5 check, followed by a checkmate. That's why we have king takes h4, and here comes h6. Threatening mate in what? f4. A logical move, white is neutralizing the threat, but even this can't stop black. There is a forced mate in force. Here we go. In here Vladislav Varadnikov played h takes g5 check and after f takes g5 sacrificed his queen. By the way the move order is not important. You can first go for queen takes g5 and then h takes g5. So the queen sacrifice is accepted. We have f6 check king h4 and g5 checkmate. We have a very picturesque checkmate on the board. A very, very rare type of a checkmate, right? This uh, square is controlled by the knight and white king is in a very awkward position now. We have a killed white king. Hope that you liked the final combination. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And in the end, a chess puzzle for you, where the task is to find the mating line for white. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. It's white to move. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.